Precise and powerful. That's it. And increasingly male. I think just more people are really starting to try new things and stop being so affected by normal stereotypes. For the first time ever at Canada's National Ballet School, boys outnumber the girls in their first year here. Beautiful shape norms. Laurel Toto has been teaching at the NBS since 1983. I think all of us that have been here for a long time have done a lot of work to try to encourage young boys. More boys means more balanced training for the girls too, and maybe a bit more fun, says prima ballerina in progress, Olivia McAlpine. When I started, there were four boys in my class, so you know, that was a little disappointing. <laughs> um, but I think it's great, yeah. I think Valley's getting cooler. No! Billy Elliot's no, success Billy! on film and on stage may have helped pump up that cool factor. Boys from the National Ballet School rotated in the coveted role. You got the usual ribbing as a kid. Charles Berry graduated in 2003 and went on to be a professional ballet dancer. But it's what he chose to do after his career was sidelined by an injury that he says shows the true power of ballet and the academic education offered at the NBS. Barry is now an accountant. The key thing about ballet is that it teaches you a lot of discipline. And that's an attribute that's really important across any profession, whatever you're doing. A dancer's life is finite and oftentimes it's hard for them to transition. Stephen Delaney doesn't dance, but as a fundraiser from the corporate world, he wants Torontonians to recognize the resource the school is. Most people don't even know that, you know, Toronto has this amazing institution in its, in its own city. Seven out of ten kids at the school receive financial assistance. So, you know, without these kinds of things, uh, most of these kids wouldn't be here. Even with that help, dance, of course, demands sacrifice. Leo Hepler left his entire family behind in Alberta to follow his dream and says he doesn't hide what he loves to do anymore. Because I love to dance. Nikos on CBC News, Toronto.